Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Attila Pink, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that is this Wyckoff accumulation pattern actually working? So, what is now the case? Are we following it, or everybody is now following it? All the whales, or maybe they doing just the opposite? So, let's uh, discuss it. The second thing I want to talk about is that this popular uh, method, faster payments, is no longer an option for Binance customers in Britain uh, and increasing regulatory pressure. Because, you know, in yesterday's video, I talked about that uh, there are some problems with, uh, you know, all the, with the licenses uh, for Binance in the UK and also in Japan and now uh, you cannot use a uh, faster payment. Okay, I will get into the details. And the third news also refers to yesterday's one because uh, yesterday I mentioned that the third richest man in uh, Mexico would like uh, his bank to be the first one uh, which can uh, accept uh, Bitcoin. And the answer came after it from the Mexican uh, finance minister who confirms cryptos are banned from financial system so it's not that easy to do that guys all this in today's video And if you would like to get the daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news, the only thing you have to do, subscribe to this channel, Blockchain Bloom, subscribe, bell button, all, that's it, you, uh, you have to do. And then you're getting the notifications as soon as a new video is out and I'm bringing you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news every weekday. Check out the links under the video, very useful ones, uh, links you can save money, uh, for instance, uh, on Binance or actually uh, on Coinbase and so on and so forth. And also I have a free course for you, how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. It's just totally free. You download it, you can learn from it. I think it's a great value pack. Uh, okay, and now let's move on to the market where we can see that Bitcoin actually going up now 1.69%. Uh, uh, the price is 35,267 US dollar. Ethereum also going up, much better, 7%, 7.5% 7 almost, and the price is 2,159 US dollar. When we're checking out the winners, now we see uh, quite a lot. Kusama, 27% up, Compound, uh, 24%, Bitcoin SV, 22%, and so on and so forth, as you can see it. Then check out the losers today, how that looks like. Quant going down 6%, uh, CeeLo, um, 35 AMP 1.6 and that was it in the top 100. So today, again, we are in the green zone. We actually uh, now going up. When we're looking at uh, the chart, I would like to show this here. This is here, uh, the four hour one, because definitely guys, don't forget, we are all together in a downtrend uh, right now. But Let's see uh, what's happening in short term. And in short term now, this here you can see uh, as the price is going up, here is an increase. And I put here these two support lines. If it stays in and actually maybe crossing this one, then actually it can go up uh, for a while. <coughs> But don't forget, we are in the downtrend. So I'm a bit afraid that these moves so far are just all about uh, sideways movements up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, nothing major is happening. We have to wait for something. It could be some news. However, you can see even good news coming out. Bitcoin price is not reacting to it so hectically, which means that, uh, okay, even if there is a slight increase, there is also a price drop. And again, if it will turn down, going down uh, again, so we're going to have here lower uh, highs and lower lows, then definitely the bearish uh, move continues. So be cautious uh, right now. Um, if you are, I mean, it's up to you, not uh, financial advice. If you are a, a trader who uh, trades in short term, ter term, for instance, even day trade, then you can watch these moves. But uh, the big moves uh, to the upside, to being bullish again, we are not even close to that. Would be nice to first cross again the 50-day moving average, but then the 200-day moving average would be 
uh, a key element uh, to cross. And um, yes, also when you're looking at the hash rates, look, the hash rate has dramatically dropped here right now uh, at 93. And you know, back here at the top on the 14th of May, it was 180. Uh, so mm, yes, huge, huge difference. And you know, this is all about the uh, the crackdown in China because the miners had to shut down their uh, Bitcoin uh, mining system, put it this way. And now many of them are on the move. So therefore there is a drop now in the hash rate, but yeah, it's still functioning. Uh, Bitcoin, don't worry about that. However, for instance, uh, when you're looking at the um, block time uh, for the confirmation, then you can see it here that this is also going up significantly. You know, 10 uh, minutes should be an average for that. And now we are rather talking about 26 minutes. So median confirmation time, it's just about like this. And you can see what's happening here in a, yeah, put it this, 100 and last 180 days. But, you know, as you know, the Bitcoin system, it will uh, settle itself every two weeks, uh, coming up with a, a newer one, and then uh, everything will sooner or later get back to normal. But definitely now, because there is a sudden change, you can see this uh, dramatic uh, moves in these directions. Okay, and now let's talk about uh, this kind of, uh, you know, the one, this uh, Wyckoff uh, accumulation pattern. Because many, many people believe that we are just following it right now. And then now soon could be the time when actually everything changing back and we bullish again. So let's discuss it. Yes, when we have, uh, you know, checked out back in, for instance, April, uh, this uh, Wyckoff uh, pattern, then we could see that actually it has done exactly. So, so far so good, put it this way. Uh, what is in the pattern, this is how Bitcoin price uh, has moved. And now here you can see a tweet by Kevin uh, Swenson. And look, he puts here now the Bitcoin price and uh, underneath you can see uh, the Wyckoff pattern. And this one, when it went down to 28,000 something, this could be, according to him, maybe the spring. And then we had this, you know, test again, when it went down just, just to 30,000, uh, slightly, slightly above it. And now then uh, we going up. So if we're looking at this, but one thing we have to discuss, I'm a bit suspicious because if everybody is watching, watching this pattern, you know, usually what these big guys who are manipulating the, the market, what they're doing, they're doing always the opposite. So when people are in FOMO and buying, 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 then they, uh, you know, uh, drop the price then because they making profit and then people are panicking, then they selling. So even that this is the pattern, in my opinion, uh, it's, uh, we have to be very, very careful because maybe, maybe they could do the opposite because everybody is expecting this one here. Okay, look, everything is just playing out perfectly and can go up. On the other hand, yes, it still can happen like this. So now everybody should uh, discuss. You can drop a comment uh, below what you think about it. Is really this white cough uh, accumulation pattern playing out? as we just see it so far, and it's going to continue, or the opposite is going to happen, and then we continue with the downtrend. And uh, the, the, for instance, because you know when, when, when the big guys now buying Bitcoin, they cannot buy everything in one go because then they will push up the price. So they need to buy it step by step. Therefore, uh, for them, it's good if the price stays uh, low or even goes lower, because they still can accumulate. And whenever they are ready, they say, okay, now we have enough, then they can change the things and then uh, start heavily buying. It's 
push up the market, retail will join, everybody will join, uh, good news uh, will make uh, even bigger pumps, and then the Bitcoin price can go up nicely. So the question is, would they uh, still accumulate in the next couple of whatever weeks, months, for instance, and then keep, therefore, keep the price uh, at the low point or even push it lower? Or now it's time to go back again and uh, it will play out just as we can see here on this Wyckoff accumulation pattern. This is the question. Okay, guys, second thing I want to talk about is all about Binance. If you remember <coughs> yesterday, I have mentioned that uh, Binance is going to have some difficulties in uh, the UK and Japan because they haven't uh, met uh, some of the uh, law, what they should follow uh, to being registered uh, with some authorities. And yes, the story just continues. I have an article which is all about, and let me show you straight away, that Binance suspend popular fiat ramp for UK customers and regulatory crackdown. Faster payment is no longer an option for Binance customers in Britain and increasing regulatory pressure. So Binance UK customers are currently unable uh, to use the popular local payment provider, which is called Faster Payment, to withdraw British pound from the exchange. On Monday, the 28th of June, noticed on Binance website declared that uh, GBP withdrawals via faster payment had been suspended for maintenance. That's what they're saying, according to Financial Times. Faster payments is a payment provider, if you don't know, used by major banks to uh, process near instant payments. So very fast one, therefore the, the name. It has become one of the preferred channels for moving fiat currency to and from Binance Exchange. So people in the UK like to use this because of it's, it's very fast. According to the report, UK users can still use traditional methods such as you know bank cards to move money from the exchange. However, the exchange acknowledged that the suspension of faster payment presents uh, a significant hurdle. So yes where the story will develop. Now we can see the news came out on the weekend. Uh, you know, I talked about it yesterday here. And uh, also now we see some troubles. So people, and you know, Binance is a very, very, very popular um, cryptocurrency exchange worldwide used in many countries and therefore many UK users using it. However, if this story continues, then they will be afraid to keep the money, some of their money, uh, which I would never advise to keep it on exchange. Yes, I know if you trade with money, you should keep it somehow on exchange, but the rest of your crypto cryptocurrency is not financial advice, in my personal opinion, but should be rather in hardware wallets. Uh, so guys, those who are in the UK uh, should uh, keep an eye on uh, the thing, on Binance and what's happening uh, all with this these things in the UK, because uh, yeah, Depends. Now, you know, the, the Financial Conduct Authority, FCA, uh, were the one, was the one who um, mentioned this uh, problem, that the Binance is not registered with them. And now we see uh, how it will continue. Okay, but this was just an update because we started this yesterday. And also... Let's talk about another update, because yesterday I talked about the guy who is the third richest person in Mexico who would like his bank to be the first who, uh, which uh, accepts uh, cryptocurrencies. And uh, yeah, it won't be that easy. So yesterday it looked like that uh, Mexico uh, could be heavy on crypto, Bitcoin, if the third richest man wants his bank to be the first which can actually accept uh, cryptocurrency and then even it can get into the financial system. However, there was an answer straight away after this announcement. Here is the Mexico's uh, finance minister who confirms that crypto are banned from financial system. So the top Mexican uh, officer um, 
reiterated on Monday a ban on the use of cryptocurrency in the country's financial system. So not crypto is banned in Mexico, don't get me wrong, in the financial system. So um, Arturo Herrera, Mexico's uh, finance minister, said cryptocurrencies aren't legal tender asset. You know, just what is the case, for instance, in uh, El Salvador uh, will be from September if things work out. And they aren't treated as currency with the country's uh, current regulatory framework. Mm, those bans are not expected to be uh, lifted in short term, so they believe this will go on for a while, uh, so they don't even think about it. Herrera said during the presentation to the Financial Action Task Force, a global anti-money laundering group. The announcement comes after... As it happened Sunday um, pronouncement by billionaire Ricardo Salinas Pliego, you know, and this is the story what I uh, told that uh, his bank wanted bank wanted to be the first one which can you know uh, accept uh, cryptocurrency, but it looks like it's going to take longer than that. It's not just like an easy task to do it over there because there was straight away the answer from the finance minister that no, don't to get me wrong here it is banned from the financial uh, system and they're not willing to change this in the short term. So we will see how things work out. Bullish news on one day, getting a bit bearish on the other day. But this is how the crypto mar uh, market works. And for you, if you want to stay up to date, the only thing you have to do, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom, and I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news every weekday. If you like this content, smash the like button, don't be afraid. And tomorrow I'm coming back with the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Have a good one. Bye-bye.